Saber Eights, Anonymous here, back from a little bit of an absence uh, due to some illness and um, lots of and lots of work that uh, is being done behind the scenes. So, uh, everybody, thank you for uh, sticking with us, for tuning in, and, and uh, welcome to all the new people. We've got again more more new people coming to the channel, so welcome to all of you. Um, I am coming here right now to do a little bit of introduction for people who might be new to uh, Terra Prime. Um, and this is one of the uh, most frequently asked questions that we get is, uh, what exactly are you doing here? Um, is it supposed to be for fun? Is it supposed to be for martial arts? Is it supposed to be for this, that, and the other, or whatever? And uh, the answer is yes. Um, it's pretty much all for, for all of that stuff. Um, I can explain a little bit about our history and a little bit about who we are and that might uh, um, shed some light onto it. So uh, we started back in 2012 and um, it started when I just started posting some videos for a camp that I was doing um, um, for, for lightsaber using basic sword uh, sword technique to, to apply to the lightsaber. Um, my uh, friend Vornok, who um, is in exile right now in um, uh, some tropical paradise somewhere, so he hasn't been on the channel for very, uh, very much uh, lately, but uh, we had been working for a long time trying to find a good sword analog that could kind of go between us. Now this is kind of before the advent of the uh, poly weapons like these. Um, yeah, s some of them were, were still available, but they were, you know, a little pricey, and, and the, the, the original models were, were a little bit clunky and stuff like that. And plus, um, it was just, it was just, it, they weren't as common then, so they weren't, so they weren't as available. So uh, I stumbled upon uh, Ultra Sabers after uh, watching uh, something on the New York Jedi, um, and uh, we found that we can fight with these things. And so got a couple of them and uh, started bashing us around. Um, as it's grown, we've been using them primarily as a sword analog, but as it's grown and as we've investigated more and more and more stuff, we noticed that uh, the game of lightsabers is a lot different than just regular sword play. It's very similar, um, but the, uh, the big, Factor not being able to touch the blade is a very big factor, and uh, it's it's uh, it has turned the whole thing into kind of its own its its own little uh, pursuit for us. Um, now we are all martial artists and um, uh, coaches and instructors and enthusiasts and practitioners and stuff like that. Um, many of us have been in it for a very long time. I've been uh, teaching for 18 plus years. I've been in martial arts for over 20. Uh, my main background is in Chinese martial arts. Um, and Chinese longsword is one of my loves and specialties. So I bring a lot to that there. But I also kind of dabble in because of friends of mine and stuff like that in some of the German longsword stuff, which is very, very similar. Um, as I said, Vornach is from a pretty Western German influenced uh, Place. If you look at some of the gemstone videos, that's uh, pretty pretty clear there. Um, we have uh, our, our master Nero, Jared, who is a uh, um, the Lafayette uh, uh, head fencing coach. Um, so competing at, at, at high levels. Um, we have kendo practitioners and, and, and um, Eskrima and, and Wing Chun, all kinds of people. Um, and that was kind of how it, it's kind of evolved. Um, we found that um, the lightsaber offers a wonderful kind of median place between all kinds of martial arts. So we're able to, without having to kind of do the, the, the regular rigmarole of going from style to style, we can just pick up our, our lightsaber and um, put on some gear and start going at it. And um, it didn't matter what style, it didn't matter what school, or how much, um, uh, how much experience or anything like that. So it's been wonderful because we've been able to do what we really, really love, um, 
even more and we got to meet a lot of new people and obviously we're, we're reaching lots of people I get lots of emails every day um, from people who are thanking me so I you know thank you all for, for tuning in and making this such a success and this is such a um, such it's living the dream really um, and that's really what we're doing um, we're taking our love of martial arts which we, which we all do and we all do for a living and you know well not all do for a living but some of us do for a living other others of us are, are um, you know long time practitioners or new practitioners who just kind of came into it um, and uh, the system that we're trying to set down um, hopefully will allow people of any martial art background to kind of come in and say oh okay so this this looks familiar and I, I see this this is I don't know what this is this is interesting to add and all that and so it adds a, a, a good um, way to kind of cross-pollinate between styles without the baggage of regular old martial arts with all of its nationalistic you know um, other stuff um, so for instance um, Chinese martial arts have lots of solo forms what we call Dulan um, Western martial arts and sport fencing and, and all that stuff they don't have that um, so, uh, by me bringing in a lot of the, the, the forms and all of that, it's enabled some of the other guys who haven't been able to train like that, something to train and um, to, to, to experience that training and, and maybe glean something else out of it. Um, and conversely, uh, getting more and more uh, drills and, and techniques and two-person exercises and, and all of that kind of thing from from all these different areas and all these different perspectives um, is really, really great. And we will be actually ramping that up with um, one of the things that I am, that we are working on in behind the scenes right now, which is an achievement system, which I've alluded to before, which will kind of grade all of our systems or all of our, all the pieces of the system so that people can either kind of follow along their own progress at home by themselves or if they wanted to get an official recognition from us or, or try to join you know, our, our ranks, we're going to try to make that possible to more and more people. We're also going to give um, some options for people who don't necessarily want to go through the entire kit and caboodle, um, <clears throat> but maybe want to just focus on forms or maybe just want to focus on on a, uh, velocities or, or or what have you um, you know just 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 as a hobby just just as fun so we're hope hopefully we're gonna ramp up to doing something like that I can't tell you exactly when that's going to be we've got a lot of work to do right now we're trying to get a, a larger teaching staff and <clears throat> we've got a lot of great instructors and great people who are are kind of working through our stuff right now and hopefully we'll get more people kind of in the mix and that and we'll be able to get a lot more people through so again thank you for bearing with us that way um, but as far as you know what it is ultimately that we're doing we started out kind of going trying to find just a sword analog because we like sword fighting um, and we love Star Wars and we want to kind of replicate a little bit about what we imagine that would be like and, and, and stuff like that and still keep it fun and, and of that and safe um, and um, you know just all of this kind of coming together it's become really a community building thing it's become a, an experiment which has been loads of fun brought us together with lots and lots of people and um, kind of spread the things that we really really love um, not just the lightsaber stuff but people ask us where does this thing come from tell them and they go and see it and again like I said we've had people who started with us and went out and joined uh, a, a kendo club and now is, is, is full on in kendo and, and everything like that so that's really one of the main purposes but really we just like having fun and we just like you know having fun with a lot of imagination we we've done a lot of martial arts and we really love doing martial arts we love teaching it we love sharing it with people and uh, we, the people who are in, in our organization, we love all martial arts. So we don't really care, you know, where you're from or, or if it's, you know, 
respect it or, or, or not, as long as you have the right attitude and everything like that. It's the art. It's the artist, not the art, as it, as it were. We love just kind of sharing stuff. So if you're out there and you want to share some stuff with us, please do. We love all of that kind of stuff. Um, uh, we, like I said, this is, that, that's what this is for. We're trying to build up a community here, um, propagate arts, and we've kind of stumbled upon a really kind of new and fun way of practicing this, practicing this stuff. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, more and more people are going to be joining up with it. And um, with the explosion of groups out there, um, everything from choreography to combat and everywhere in between, um, hopefully we can give you tutorials and, and, and videos and stuff like that that will help you no matter which one of those you want to do. Um, we are coming from a more kind of practical background and, and, and mindset, um, but using a practical mindset to spring off of is, is a really great way to to create really creative choreographies and, and, and stuff like that, and very enjoyable stuff. Um, and of course, we love staying active and staying fit. So that is a uh, <clears throat> short-ish um, explanation of kind of what we do here. Um, I'll be producing more and more videos, which will kind of go into some more of the detail stuff. So um, in short, uh, we are a group of martial artists who love lightsabers, love Star Wars, love sharing our, uh, our arts and practicing with people and having whole lots of fun and we hope that you will join us for that little journey and for all of those who have been on this journey with us um, either from the beginning or from whenever you joined on the ship, um, thank you for being with us and hopefully we will take you um, far into the future with um, lots more stuff. Um, I know we've got lots more material and we can talk forever about these things, so um, stay tuned. We've got more classes, we've got more workshops, we're going to have more groups out there that you can go and you can kind of get involved in all this stuff. So, uh, thank again, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you around the forums. Uh, have a great day. Happy sabering!